Hey guys, this is Fish Taco. So today I'm going to show you how to install Jedi Knight Remastered mod for Jedi Knight uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. Okay, so first you go to this thing on ModDB Jedi Knight Remastered, you go to Files, there's also a version for Mystery of the Sith, this should apply to that mostly. Uh, anyway, grab it, uh, so you go there and then you go Download, you should get a raw file and extracting it will get you these files. So, make sure you have uh, either a Steam or GOG or even CD apparently works. Uh, but make sure you have your, your copy installed. Uh, so then you launch this. It is an installer uh, and all it actually has instructions inside of it, luckily. So if it's GOG, you'll either be there or there. And if it's Steam, you'll probably be in one. It, you'll either have a custom Steam folder on a different drive or it'll be in program files or wherever the hell you installed Steam. So that's all good. Uh, anyway, yeah, you launch it, uh, you go there, you go accept, uh, and then you pick your exact location of where the game is. You have to pick the right location, uh, and then you install it. I've already got it installed because uh, I didn't want to install it again, and I have it all set up to show you. Uh, okay, so once it's installed, it should all look like this. Uh, I think it creates a desktop shortcut for it, uh, but you just launch the game with this inject. So if it didn't create a fold, uh, if it didn't create a shortcut with this, you would just create it and call it uh, Jedi Knight, and you can set a custom uh, icon if you want. Anyway, uh, so you don't launch it yet. First, uh, you open up this. Now, if you don't have file name extensions on, it'll just be this with no dot. Uh, you just right click and you open it with either Notepad or Notepad plus plus. Now, when you're editing this, just make sure, like, you don't get rid of any space. I don't know if the spaces matter, but these, like, don't get rid of any brackets or quotes, or you'll just screw up the any. So, set it to the resolution you're on, uh, and make sure that you... Uh, I tried to make it work in, in windowed mode, and with any of this changed, I did do a bit of experimentation. But uh, definitely this just screwed, it was very unplayable in windowed mode, it was all jank. Uh, these are probably the best settings for visuals. Uh, and then, okay, now this is another bit of a complicated thing. So there's all of these, you just set it to the FOV you want. So this would be like really friggin' wide. Uh, I went with 100, the default I think is like, probably like 60 or 80 or something. But it this 100 looks more to me like you know, like 85 in, co in like COD or Titanfall or something. Uh, so yeah, I set it to that. Um, so you just put that in quotes, which one you want. Okay, so now you've got that edited, you've got your resolution, your correct resolution in there. Uh, and now, uh, before you launch the game, there is something very important about this game. You need to lim limit the frame rate, which uh, the best way to do that I have found is Reva Tuna. But if you have another way you can limit the FPS, go ahead. But I would say Reva Tuna. You, you should definitely install this. It's a it's a must have for games. Uh, okay, so uh, you put uh, you put the the correct one because this is what the game's actually going to run. The inject just starts it with the correct one and the correct settings. So uh, you've got that. And then you go limit 40. Now I'm going to unlimit it just to show you why, because I can relimit it even while I'm in game. Uh, it's going to take a bit of gymnastics because the game very. I'll have to start and stop recording a few times, but that's okay. All right. So now that we've got all that done, uh, you either launch with that that icon that's launching this, or just launch through inject. Okay. So now you should still be able to hear me. I hope. Uh, I haven't tested this. It's. Oh yeah, so it's still in 16 by 9 it's just this menu looks uh, letterboxed. Okay, so first of all, have fun with this, this whole in-game system. Um, you're going to have to set your controls, and then when you're done, save the config, because it likes to just delete all your changes. Uh, and, and yeah, that's all a, a whole other can of worms, but it's not that bad, it's just a very clunky menu. Okay. Now, let's go single player, load, I'll just load my quick save, I think I'm on like the third mission. Yeah, so, as you can see, it still looks like it's probably limited to 30, right? It actually looks worse if you have it limited to 60 or not limited. So, you can see it's like really choppy, I think it's the camera movement is still in 30, it's, it's awful. So it actually looks better when you do the frame rate limit I showed. 
So uh, as you can see, look at look at the lightsaber. It's not meant to be that fast. Uh, and like, if I get out a gun, you see how it's like in fast forward. It's not meant to look that jittery. So now if I so now I've re-enabled the frame rate limit. We're limited to 40, and it actually feels so much smoother. It, it, it's actually detrimental not to limit your frame rate lower in this game. So yeah, uh, and as you can see, the animations are in the right speed now. Like we're getting them out. Like if I I throw it, he throws it the right way. Um, if it, that was in fast forward, he would just go and it would just fly out instantly. It just looks wrong. Uh, so yeah, so now it's good and it feels smoother. So definitely do the frame rate limit if you're going to play this. Otherwise, it is going to look and feel horrible. So yeah, I thought I'd show that. Um, yeah, you just add it to Reva Tuna, limit it to 40. Okay, so yeah, that's everything. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know. I'll try to answer them in the comments. If I don't know what I'm talking about, I'll try to do some research and I'll give you like a link maybe to a forum I can find an answer on. Uh, but also, if you have problems, um, when you extract the installer, those two files, configuration guide, and you can read and see if you can find a solution. But if you're confused about the wording on something, just let me know. I'll try to fix it. Okay, see you.